right. Well, we know when it comes to a big award show, there's just as much talk about the beauty and fashion on the red carpet as there is about the ceremony. So joining us with a recap of the hottest hair, our celebrity hairstylist and women's Rogaine spokesperson, Jill Crosby, and beauty blogger, Jamie Stone. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here I'm with so us. Relaxed, so let's talk a little bit about some segment. of the hottest hair trends that we saw last Sunday because I know that's one of the biggest things that people talk about when it comes to styling. Absolutely. I think the carpet was just so much fun. I mean, it was such a different carpet, in my opinion. In the past, we've always reserved the Oscars as the kind of prima carpet. So you often brought a real structured updo look to this carpet. It's not happening so much that way anymore. I'm seeing a lot of really hip, youthful looks. A lot of new shapes are being introduced, um, which is really, really exciting. And I think a lot of women at home can relate more to the carpet. Um, of recent because they can attempt some of this stuff at home and there are some women who are going to be at home who are going to have more of a challenge in attempting some of this such as women with thin or thinning hair so my advice to them is you really start with the basics you back it up all the way to the haircut and you work with a great stylist on a cut so that you can create perhaps like a blunt cut that def gives you more of a weight line or you go in and you do some light layering so that you can get that volume back in it and maybe achieve some of those soft carpet waves um, and then you can introduce color and we saw a lot of really beautiful color so much good color I know I really loved the warm uh, brunette shades that we saw and then the golden blondes and of course the platinum blondes everyone's color looked really fantastic yeah and one of the advantages to color is that it really expands the cuticle so color can expand the cuticle you're also going to be working with products that can help kind of add volume right away but then for those women with thinning hair we need to talk about treatment and women's Rogaine foam is really the first once a day 5% minoxidil on the market that has been FDA approved and is proven to regrow hair so for any carpet look um, starting there where you can actually regrow the hair is what's most important and Jamie has that story. Yeah, to actually share that's too. how Jill and I met. I was noticed some thinning and so I went to Jill and I asked her to give me a blunt cut, you know, and also boost up my blonde so that it really makes my hair look as voluminous and full as possible. She also recommended that I start using Women's Rogan foam. Uh, so I've now been using it over a year and I've seen some really amazing results. You know, I started seeing it probably around three months and other people have noticed it. It's just it's it's been amazing for me and I'm really excited to, you know, kind of share my journey through using it. Yeah, and incorporating the product and the cuts and the colors along with a treatment program is really something that's going to be a complete package and a total advantage to women with thinner thinning hair. And if you want more information, you can find it at womensrogain.com. Um, there Jamie and I share stories. She shares her story and I show you some tips and tutorials um, on how to actually style your hair. I love it. And I'm really, uh, really appreciative of the fact that you, you spoke about thinning hair for women, the products, the styles, that blunt cut I know is something that's so important when you've got thinner hair. I think those are really great takeaways. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us, ladies. Thanks Thank for having us. I appreciate it.